My name is Arancha de la Orra, and I'm the project lead for Global Research Nurses. Global Research Nurses focuses on supporting nurses and midwives from low- and middle-income countries to get involved in research, to learn the skills about research, and to ultimately to lead in research. And we do that uh, through two key activities. The first one is called, like a long name, is Research Capacity Strengthening Activities, but usually they take the shape of workshops. And the second uh, activity is we run um, a small uh, a program of small grants. And all this uh, takes place in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. An example of these activities is the series of workshops that we are conducting in, in Ethiopia. These are focused on supporting, on enhancing the skills uh, around uh, qualitative research for nurses. The key area about this project is that it divides in three modules. The first one is around developing your proposal and the nurses that they are taking part in this, they learn about the skills and then they develop the proposal. The next one is about data, uh, learning to collect data. And the third one is about uh, learning to write the manuscripts. And at the end of this project, we will have four completed research projects with uh, a policy brief as well. So that's great. But also what we like to do is to capture the impact that these activities have on nurses and midwives. And an example of that is the journey of Flavia Rocha from Buenos Aires in Argentina. She is a maternity nurse and uh, she was awarded uh, a small grant to travel to, to attend the symposium, the Burdett Rice Symposium in Cape Town in, at the end of 2022. She had not been involved in research prior to that, but she gained the confidence and the knowledge by attending the symposium. And when she went back to her institution, she started a research project and she was the first one ever to uh, do research in her hospital. And from that point, she became the expert in research and she trained nurses, midwives, doctors and all healthcare professionals. The three big challenges that we've got at the moment are the lack of awareness for nurses and midwives about the role that they could have in, in research. Another one linked to that is that despite Nurses Summit was being the largest uh, work, workforce in healthcare, they are underrepresented in leadership and at the decision-making table. And the third challenge that we've got is retention. This project is, uh, is working to address these challenges by uh, raising awareness of uh, the role that Nurses Summit was can have in research. Also, a uh, supporting nurses and midwives to develop these skills that will take them to the top level, to the leadership roles. By getting involved in research, nurses will, um, uh, will enjoy the job better as they are able to decide uh, how to improve, uh, be part of the decision-making process of, make, of uh, improving healthcare. And it will also offer an, a new opportunity for career development and career progression, helping retention. Nurses are the primary providers of care. We are the professionals that spend the most time with the patient. And this puts us in a unique uh, position to understand the key challenges around uh, health, the cultural determinants around that, and the full socioeconomic picture around these health uh, challenges. With that, we can identify the key gaps in care and set up a research project to improve care and to do that around uh, making it patient-focused care. So it's crucial that uh, nurses and midwives in low- and middle-income countries take an active role in, in improving care. Recently, I saw a presentation on one of the slides uh, stayed with me. He said, uh, in God we trust, everybody else needs to bring data. And midwives need to bring data. We need data to improve care and to be able to have a say on how that care is improved. Uh, investing in nurses and midwives, say, uh, in, in nursing and midwifery-led research, will improve healthcare and healthcare systems globally.